Okay, hey people, it's Gemini 25 here, and I'm just doing a video on the Blacklight Retribution customization um, thing. How to do it. Tutorial. So, first of all, if you don't know what Blacklight Retribution is, it's a free-to-play game. I'll put the website link in the description to go check it out. But now, on to the customization. So, this is, like, if you're new. So, you go to a customization place, and you have uh, five, five little bars here. First is your profile. Which just shows you the things you have unlocked, the not really important stuff when you're actually playing the game. The second thing is your nose list, which is semi important, but it gives you bonus things. See, this is, your nose are what you get during the game. So, sort of like uh, perks, if you play um, Call of Duty. And so you get them, and then you can put them in the sockets. See, so put that one there. And then you, they give you like extra stuff, like extra money and extra stuff. So anyways, fusion is where you can combine them, not really important if you're just starting off. Hero, you no, know, you can buy these with Zen, which I'll go over later, and these are just pre-made people that you can get. Equipment, so this is pretty much one of the most important things. So, you got armor, which is your armor, so you get your uh, helmet, your chest plate, your boots, your metal, which is not really that important, and your armor camo. So, um, the armor just uh, changes your stats and like how much health you have, how fast you can run, stamina, that kind of stuff. Next slot is your gear. So the, there's the, the first gear slot is what you'll be carrying on your back. See, I have a cloak where I can go invisible, but there's lots of different stuff to choose from. You can get this riot shield, health injectors, lots of different stuff. Then there's these slots over here. So you can, you can use, um, these are where you equip your grenades, your knife, well I have a machete, but that's like overpowered knife. And then the last little bar is depot, or depot, sorry. And so you select you select your pretty much kill streaks. So you go to the depot and you can buy these things. So I have my uh, turret and rocket launcher and flamethrower and another rocket launcher and hard suit. But anyways. And the, pretty much the most important thing is um, your weapons. So you select your primary weapons. So you can get pre-made guns so that already have like a setup for you. And these are usually pretty good, but you can't buy them permanently. And or you can make custom. So you got your uh, receiver, which is actually changes the type of gun you're using. So you can use an assault rifle, bolt action rifle, combat rifle, which is a semi-automatic rifle, which they use. You pull the trigger every time you want to shoot. And a uh, burst fire rifle of three rounds. Um, submachine gun, kind of overpowered. It's the light machine gun, which is extremely overpowered. And then there's a heavy assault rifle, which is horrible. But then after that, you can change your muzzle. See, you can put the, the front, see the Barrett 50 cal, anyways. The next thing is barrel. You can just. Certain barrels do certain damages. Um, all this stuff you see here scope in, reload, fire rate pretty important. Then there's ammo, so you can get uh, you can get either a bigger clip, like this, or you can get elemental ammo, which is either like incinerary, toxic, explosive, electric, and yeah, that's pretty much it for ammo. So then there's scope, which pretty much the sights, so you can put a rifle scope, you can put anything on here, they have pretty much any type of scope you can imagine. You can go everything all the way down to iron sights, which are pretty bad. Stock back of the gun. There's lots of different ones to choose from. And just, yeah. Um, the second to last thing is the weapon tag, which is this little thing that dangles here. Not very important, but still pretty cool to have. So you unlock them when you level up. And the last thing is the camo. I have my metallic pink camo just because manliest thing ever. Okay, and the pretty much last thing I'm going to do in this tutorial is, well, yeah, almost out of thing is the secondary. So you can do anything from a pistol to a revolver to machine pistol to shotgun. Not a shotgun because everybody knows that pink shotguns are like the manliest thing ever. But yeah, you got the you can change the barrel, you, sh you can change the stock, and you just can't have a weapon tag on it. Uh, you can't change the stock on a pistol. That's kind of obvious. But um, you can put a scope on it. But my rifle, my rifle scope on it, obviously. Well, let me find this. 
Obviously, this is the best gun ever. But yeah, scroll to zoom in and out of your gun. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, the last thing I want to go over is the currency, how you buy this stuff. So there's two different currencies in this game. There's GP and Zen. Zen is something that you buy with real money. So like every $10 is a thousand Zen. So um, you buy it on their website. Not really many people use it. I got this donated to me by a friend. Um, but uh, and then the second the second currency is GP, which you get for playing games. You usually get like 100 to 200 GP per game. And once you have it, you can either buy stuff for a day, seven days, or permanently. Permanently costs a lot more, obviously, but you have it forever. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, this, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you liked it, drop a like. If you didn't, don't like it, I guess. But yeah, subscribe. See ya.